Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Second. So we can just continue right where we left off. So let's just go ahead and move forward and see what happens here. That light! It's the Holy Pillar! They're about to tear apart the boundary between worlds! We have to stop them! Look! In the sky! Is that... What? The rubber dub, it's it's Oh Vol, we're flying. Sakura, how in the world? It's quite easy. Mr. Lotus taught me all the controls. N no, I mean you! Well, how does she look? Fixed her up just like you asked. We melted down the Livestone, coated the hull with her, and here you have it. Formidable! That was what you asked him to do? I'm just glad one of my ideas finally worked. Nice going. That big brain of yours really is good for something. Uh, but wait a minute. Are we permanently airborne now? No need to worry. I took care of that problem as well. I worked the material so it only rises when heated. Then I routed the plumbing to carry the water from the baths over the hole. You can take off or land simply by adjusting the flow of hot water. The baths are always ready, so your ship is always ready. Fly and soak at your leisure. Nice. I can't thank you enough, Mr. Lotus. Now we can storm the skyhold and make things right. You're more than an engineer, Lotus. You're a genius! To think that Lux and Dark Science had come so far. Did you hear that, Onyas? We're on our way! Alright, cool. Airship, finally okay. Um, cool. So, party chat. I guess we can start going to the places we want now. So the rubber dub can fly now. <clears throat> Who'd have thunk it? Good news, Tiz. Doesn't anything surprise you? Or goodness, Tiz. Doesn't anything surprise you? Surprise, I guess. But it's not exactly my first time seeing a ship take flight. That's right. And Grand Ship wasn't just a ship. It was a whole nation's worth of them. Grand Ship? You mean the sinking state? That's the one. We visited just when it looked... We visited just when it looked like it was finally going to sink once and for all. We tried everything. We we could from keeping it sinking and ended up turning it into an airship and carried us all the way around the world after that wow and you say like it's nothing speaking of grand ship where is it these days there's this crater lake in the west of eternity that was formed when the ball fell i hear that they landed her there so she's mourned again i'd love to visit that old wreck again if we had the chance so would i okay everybody so i think we have that side quest to do and then we have the main quest but I also wonder if we're now able to go to Chompville. So, oh, also, we should probably give a quick update to the moon here. Probably a couple of things are <clears throat> done. I just went outside to do some fireworks, so I left my computer on for a little while. Okay, we got 50. So let's put one there. Also down there, that's five there. And then we got here. Just for a little while, but <clears throat> like I said before, so now we can go in the air. Let's see if we can go to the Chomp place. Chompville should be around here, no? In here? Yes, Chompshire. Okay, we are at the right place. This was the place that I was looking for. Okay, everybody, so let's start checking out this place then. What What is here to see? Um, oh, and if you guys are just like, don't know what I'm talking about. So this is the Chomp uh, craft game. So here you get Chomp. Or you can make these little Chomp stuffed animals and you get cp and as you can see i maxed it out a long time ago and i even grinded a bit more to get 31 mil so let's see how much oh bomb fragment let's see how much we can do with that i guess we have to go down these leaves here where do i exchange that i exchange it with this guy okay so i can basically so I bought one of the upgrades was to have the best exchange rate and the best exchange rate is 100 CP for one pig. 
So I think the most I can get right now is with this 31 million, I can get 300,000 pig. Now, that actually sounds like a lot. It's actually not that much, con all considering. It's not that a crazy amount. But at least I'll be able to buy all the magic here, which is nice. So these are the level 6 spells. Kiraga, Arise, Holy. Oh, the level 5 and the level 6. We got the Furaga, Blazaga, Thandaga, Dark. Then we could buy these ones for the Time Mage, just because while we're here, why not? But we're going to spend a good bit of our money on just these ones. And then I'm going to... Yes, I want to buy this one and that one. And look at that, we're basically already out of money. We'll have to play Chompcraft a lot more. Then I'm going to buy these because why not? <clears throat> so, I basically bought all of the spells in the game now. Um, let's see, what about equipment? Ooh, these charms. Is that... See, I want to buy these. Okay, so I just quickly checked. Yeah, so there isn't weapons there just yet. Once I in, go into Chapter 5, that's when the weapons will actually show up. So we won't be able to get them just yet. We'll have to wait a bit longer. But hey, the spells were enough. Those spells are going to become extremely useful now. Let's, right now, let's go do the side quest. That'll probably take me until the end of the video. And then maybe I'll grind a bit before going on to the actual skyhold. Maybe I'll grind just to get ready for it. But let's go ahead and go to the side quest. Back on the ship. Wow. This place is something else. Ships piled upon ships? And the whole of it forming a city? This is Grand Ship, the sinking state. At least that's what people used to call it. An entire nation built atop a sinking boat? Yep, a really big boat. Big enough to be its own nation. It was also our airship for a while. A boat that was a nation that was an airship? <clears throat> Je ne comprends pas. Wow, sir. That must have been some adventure. I wonder how our friends at the tavern are doing. We should stop in and say hello. Yeah, let's go say hi to Dats and Zats and all that. Wait. Are the shops still running here? Hold up. The shops are still running here. Let's see. I, I think I bought all the spells. So I don't think there's anything to actually buy here. How many of these do I need? I need three, right? Viking Axe. Cross Shield. Let's buy two of those. Okay, let's see. Are these any better? I'll need two of these. Then I will need... Oh, yes. I'll need two of these. Let's see. Hmm. What do I need here? I'll buy this for Magnolia. Then I'll buy this for Adia. And then I think I'll buy this for Tiz. Gauntlets. So I think we bought everything of that. Now we just... Oh, we, the rest of our money can be used. So let's buy three of these. Um, actually... Buy one of those. So we could put the cross shield on here. Wait, is there is there a better rod of ice? Oh, this is stronger. Okay, we buy that. Then what about this? Oh, and this is stronger too. Okay, we buy both of those. Let's go to you. So we have a better rod now. So let's go down to rods, the rod of ice. The headgear, we got the dragon's cap. And then here we got the... This... Okay, here we got better axes. So I'll put the Viking axe. Viking axe. We have uh, not the that. We've got the bassinet. Then we've got the one of these. Yeah, I think that's one we put on her. We want to put a Viking. And then the bassinet. Then I think we put the fluted armor on here. And I think I think that's everyone. Yeah, I think... What's a dragon's cap? Oh, on Tiz. Dragon cap... I almost forgot... How did I skip over Tiz on accident? Okay, we want to put the Gale Staff, the Cross Shield, the Dragon Cap, and then the... Okay, that'll be good. Okay, everyone is now completely geared up. We have all of the... For now, let's just move on to the side quest. Which is just right over here. Hey, what? 
folks with the long faces. Taxes. <laughs> what else? They're going up next week for the third time this month. Food, clothes, books, booze. You name it, they're raising the taxes. This country's going to hell in a handbasket if you ask me. What? Wait. I know that face. Well, well, look what the waves dragged in. You're looking hale and hearty, my dears. And you, Dats, and Zats haven't changed a bit. Well, blow me down. If it ain't Idia, and Tiz, too. <laughs> you had a good long snooze, didn't you? I can't thank you enough for everything you did for us. <laughs> it was nothing. I still can't get over how nothing's changed. The tavern's just like I remember. <laughs> it may look that way, but a lot's happened here in Grand Ship since your last visit. Aye, a lot indeed. About a year ago, we ran out of power. There wasn't a spark left. We came down in this crater lake, and we've been bobbing here ever since, like a lonely buoy. We decided to make the best of it. Give up flying around the world and build a new nation right here. And you've been here ever since? That's right. We've taken in refugees, orphans, anybody who needed a roof over their head. We're starting anew, building from the bottom up. The new Grand Ship Republic. Has a nice ring to it, huh? Milady, I have returned. I have placed the goods you requested out front. Ah, so you have come too. Alternus? Alternus Dim. Loyal guardian and holder of the Dark Knight Asterisk. This childhood friend of Idia's served her father brave as a key member of Eternia's Council of Six. He travels the world ceaselessly to carry out the tasks assigned to him by Brave, his mentor and surrogate father. By what strange trick of fate do your paths cross anew? Thank you. Once again, you deliver the goods. Where would we be without you? Here, let me give you something. How about a draught of ale on the house? Thank you. Perhaps later. A free drink? That man deserves an open tab for life! Sending the Dark Knight of Eternia out on pub errands? <laughs> Only you would have the nerve. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Ah, but today's a fine day for a feast. What do you say? How about I whip up one of my specialties? Now that's what I'm talking about! Lord of House Jenny Olja and leader of the Three Cavaliers? At your age? Hmm, that's mighty impressive. It's nothing special, really. Wanna hear something even crazier? This lass says she comes from the moon! The moon! Nice to meet you. Oh, but this is goodness you. Mm. Seconds, please? <laughs> the appetite of the young. Hey, Mr. Alternus! Ah, there you are. Here, come sit with us. And here's some piping hot soup for you. Yippee! <laughs> and this is from me. Wow, sketch pads and pencils! These are great! Thanks so much, Mr. Alternus. You really have a way with kids. I only help to distribute the nation's handouts, uh, food, stationery, and the like. It has made me uh, popular. It is a fine nation, this one. Where else would you see the underprivileged so well taken care of and so happy? Not many places, for sure. Ah, did that ever hit the spot? You can still pack it away, huh, princess? <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Every time we come here, you treat us to a magnificent feast. Wait, you mean you never pay for your meals? Uh, well, no. 
Though when you put it like that, it kind of makes us sound like we're freeloading. You know, maybe we should pay sometimes. How much do we owe you? Don't mention it! Seeing your happy faces and full stomachs is all the payment I need. Oh, come on. Let us pay just this once. Really? Well, if you insist. Uh, let me see. Um, plus tax that comes to... One million eight hundred and twenty-five thousand eight hundred and nine. We can technically pay that though. With a ten percent discount for regulars. One million eight hundred and. But, but how? I told you, didn't I? The taxes here are out of control. Yeah, but even still, I mean, there must be some mistake. The tax laws are set by our wise leaders. I'm sure they know what they're doing. Well, I'm going to lodge a formal complaint. You, you can pick up the tab. Let me know I... And there she goes. Yeah, I mean, 1.8, we could technically pay that, but that is quite a bit. That is quite a bit. New Grand Ship Republic. Okay, can we go talk to the elders themselves? Is that how this works? Alright, let's go up here. What's going on, old man? Ugh, look, it's a simple question. Who's responsible for these outrageous taxes? Yes, yes. As I have tried to explain, tax policy is determined by consensus of the entire council. The council, in turn, is chosen by the collective will of the nation. So as you see, in a very real sense, everyone is responsible. But who in their right mind would want taxes so high? Idia, there is nothing to be gained by browbeating this gentleman. He is but one of many counselors. But it's ridiculous! Someone has to take responsibility. The waffling is driving me bonkers. This council is just a doddering old bunch of do-nothings. The poor laws here in Grandship are quite comprehensive. A certain degree of taxation is essential to maintain them. A certain degree? I just paid seven figures for one meal! Well, you did. We must look after the orphans and the aged. Or are you suggesting we abandon them? The taxes also pay for the bread and books that I distribute to the children. Okay, so it's for a good cause. But aren't you taking it a bit too far? You are not the first to say so. This is why we are beginning to consider major policy reforms. What? Yes, a new organization has taken up the cause. Citizens concerned for the nation's coffers, they call themselves. They're holding their inaugural meeting in the old engine room. A number of influential council members will be attending. Should their agenda succeed, we can expect great changes, starting with taxes, which they plan to abolish almost entirely. Well, that would certainly be good for business. But, uh... What of the bread and soup I deliver to the children? How will they be fed? They won't. Which sucks a lot. What's down here is a real question. Why are we going all the way down here is my question, but... 42 through 46. Okay, so this is the highest level dungeon we've been in so far. That's perfect. So I'm not going to fight the battles. What I'll do is, like usual with every other thing I tell you guys, um, I'm going to come down here and I will grind on my own time. But I am not going to put you guys in this video through every single fight that I do down here. I just think that's boring 
and you guys probably just don't want to see that so I'm gonna go through I'm just gonna go through the dungeon with no fights um, and you know you guys get to see the dungeon itself and I will show you the fights but just after I'm done with the dungeon here so yep let's keep just walking around seeing what we can kind we what we can collect and all that good stuff chest is a little hidden right there a little, 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 little hidden let's go up here get another chest also we have to pull that lever there make sure there's nothing in this little crevice now the mage shell so yeah it's a mage shell it doesn't actually increase the magic power itself fair enough okay that's one part we need to go to the other side to raise the other side fair enough this is probably where I'll end up coming to do that last minute training because I feel like I might want to set up some team classes after this like I don't know if I want to set up that whole um, ectoplasm with the meteor rain and I don't want to make any like spoilers but um, at the end of the side quest I'll be getting a class that is needed to do that but at the same time I could just do a simpler version of it but I guess we'll see either way for now let's just go in here what I might do is I might do some of those really cheese strategies maybe if I start losing and I'm having a really hard time but until then I don't think I'll need it I think I'll be able to use like a form of the cheese but not full cheese you feel okay let's grab this Is that another staircase okay that's a staircase up that probably takes us to the next oh there's one of the summon guys right yep i lack the qualifications because oh i obtained a sword though all right let's go up i'm will let's do this tent event here Go ahead and do this. So, what do you think about Gats's story about the gigantic old man? That has to be Professor Norzen, right? Enormous troll-like body? Check. Bellowing voice like a cracked bell? Check. And those attendants in the pointed hats? Sounds like students of Alcampus to me. And Dad said he kept shouting, Fools! We must revive Chizorier! Speaking of which, what exactly is that soul stone? The one that brought me back. It was all shiny and shimmery. It was like it was made of some weird metal. I've never seen anything like it. It was only 50-50 that it would work, you know. That's what the professor said. I think Professor Norzen saw it all coming. The destruction of our world, the end layer. And he's been thinking about what to do about it for all these years. He somehow determined that he needed Agnes, Idia, and you, sir. But I was still asleep then. True, but he looked at your medical charts and knew he had a chance to bring you back. If I could run a large instantaneous burst of energy through him, then perhaps... Well, that's what he said. So how did he figure out that the Soul Stone was here in Grandship? The research team mentioned it in their report, when Grandship first appeared in this world. So the professor came right away with a group of his students in tow. But in the meantime, the Empire launched its attack and brought down Eternian Central Command. That's right. I was stuck on my own, so the professor sent Idia. He entrusted the Soul Stone to us so we could use it to revive you, sir. We'd been trying to find a way, but we never knew there was something like that. Who knows where it came from, but thanks to its powers, here I am. I have to say, this grandship is a very strange place. According to the proprietress, the nation was born some three or four thousand years ago. Some legends say it was built by pirates. Ah, that would explain why you can see the remains of old sailing ships and galleys here and there. That's not the most interesting thing either. Look, over there! And there! This place is full of the same devices and machines as the one we saw in Sagitta. There's only one other place I know that you can see such things in buildings. The moon! 
You're saying that Grandship started as an advanced civilization like Sagitta and the Moon? Perhaps. Or perhaps Grandship itself was the original civilization. <laughs> now that would be weird. Either way, it's kind of odd that Dats gave up so easily once he heard my name. Gave up? Wait, didn't anyone tell you? Tell me what? Zaps was keeping an eye on things from the sidelines. According to him, the professor, moving like Quicksilver, snuck up behind Dats and put him into a sleeper hold. Then he spun him around and performed a textbook avalanche pile driver, full air at the apex and everything. Wow, that old guy just keeps impressing. Maybe it was the rampaging professor who grounded the ship in the first place. He's just that amazing. <laughs> As Dats would say, ain't that the truth. <laughs>